Good morning guys, how's everyone doing? I hope you are having an amazing week. Today is going to be a very, very special day because today I'm going to attempt or we are going to attempt to do something that we've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. But the first thing I had to do this morning is get my camera gear all cleaned up because it has been uh, through quite a lot of videos, a lot of dust, a lot of traveling and the last time I was able to clean it was a quarter year ago so a few of you guys noticed on the last two vlogs that there were uh, some specks here and there in the vlog so that should be sorted out right now and because I get so many questions about what we vlog on which camera equipment we use which um, software that we use I put all the details all the uh, camera equipment in the description down below those are affiliate links for Amazon So if you decide to buy something on Amazon with our links, we get a little bit of a kickback It's a way you can support the channel But primarily it's for you guys to see what we use on a daily basis to film these vlogs So today we're going to attempt to sort out a room that has been Very chaotic in the past year to say the least. Let's check it out And yes, I am talking about the Annex. Oh, this place is just a complete chaotic mess. And today we're gonna to attempt to make something out of this place. As you can see, the fridge is in this room already, making space for something special to come here. Now, if you follow us on Instagram at Making It Happen Vlog and Nelly's Life Underline Underline, you might already have a little bit of an idea what we're going to do with this room. Uh, and how we're we going to do it more specifically. So I put out an Instagram stories a few days ago asking you guys where I can get black iron pipes or cast iron pipes because I want to build pipe furniture for that room and also for here because here I want to build a custom coffee bar with maybe also some space for our cocktail uh, stuff. So for example, we've got some beautiful bottles of gin and whiskey and bitters and I want to have a nice little place for those to live I want to have them on display a little bit and I want a cool coffee station because you know coffee is such a big part of our life that we really want to honor it and make kind of almost a shrine also what we want to do is we want to put some um, we want to cover these cupboards in a foil and we want to cover these tabletops with a we want to give it a marble look we want everything to be a little bit brighter and then here, this is going to be like the annex where we can film epic, epic cooking videos. It's gonna look nice, there's gonna be a lot of lights. Right now, this is literally just a dumb storage room and we need some proper storage place for all our stuff. We've got such awesome equipment from Gorenje. If you guys been around here for uh, a while, you know that we work together with Gorenje. They provided us all the equipment for our kitchen, including this beautiful kitchen machine, the oven that we love so much and a ton of other trinkets. And I just need a place for that stuff to be out and ready to go for when I want to cook. And there's so many things I do want to cook here. So oh, I'm so excited for this. I really, really want to get this done. And um, I have a basic idea how I want to build it already. But for that, I need to go to a hardware store and get the stuff. It's been a little bit difficult to find information on where I can buy all this stuff. But I think I have a pretty good idea now. Also today, I'm going to make Nelly some focaccia because I know she loves focaccia. So I'm going to make her a nice classic Italian focaccia, which will be delicious for us to eat this evening with our dinner together. So it should be pretty cool. Look at me, I'm on target, looking like a starlet. I'm feeling me if you're not keep balling. You in a pink impala, keep doing you, ain't nobody gonna stop you. Alrighty, so uh, let me fix you guys up here. So I took some basic measurements of the room and I measured off. Uh, oh, it's funny, look, it's uh, exactly the uh, width of the piece of paper if I do a 1 to 10 scale. Nice little coincidence. So I took all the measurements of the niche and uh, took a measurement of the room and I measured all the devices that are going inside. Um, just the big ones, the fridge, the washer and the dishwasher. So I can do like a little bit of a sketch up so I know how much 
types and wood we need actually to to do this and because I, it's impossible to find what we can get uh, online we have to actually go to the hardware store and see what we can get and then while we're at the hardware store I'll just take my trusty bench scraper with us as a, a kind of a ruler and I'll have to finish the design when I'm there these these tables this, this furniture built with cast iron pipe it's super super simple it's so easy to put together hopefully hopefully that is how it'll turn out i'll just finish up the sketch and then uh, we'll get ready and then we can go to the hardware store whichever one we're going to <laughs> Gatsby, long time no see. Long, long time no see. Okay, so we've come through to BGC because we want to go to the MC Home Depot to get the stuff that we need because uh, this seems to be the only place that has it. But while we're here, might as well quickly get a coffee to go from Arabica. We haven't been there in... I, we, I haven't been there in so long. Uh, yeah. Four months maybe? Yep. Which is crazy. So looking forward to an Arabica coffee. It's been a while. And while we're there, maybe somebody else is there. Somebody Maybe. else you guys might know. <laughs> somebody we know. Somebody, that, somebody, some people that we've been missing for quite some time now. So uh, yeah, let's see. But we message with, the, with them on almost a daily basis. Yeah, definitely daily. <laughs> definitely daily. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm here too. Yay! <laughs> um, I was busy finishing some stuff, but yeah, I'm happy to be out in Manila. It's been a while. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Yes, of course. Temperature check. It's six six one five. Cool. All right. Thank you. Let me just... Happy, happy man, white blue. Yes! Oh, I've got a sticker. I'm supposed to bring you the sticker. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, the sticker? I've got a problem with today. Oh, okay. He's one of my friends. He's one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> now we are all friends. <laughs> How do you connect people? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 It's, it was really nice. Wow, that looks so different. Look at this. Oh wow. Yeah, this is so weird for us. <laughs> yeah. Go away, Mike. <laughs> Social distancing selfie. <laughs> Social yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's so weird to enter a coffee shop that you enter. We enter this on a weekly basis, I would say, almost. Yeah, I have a, I have a little bit of an issue with these boxes here because I have a mild case of OCD. Yeah. And I don't like stepping on lines, so this mm. is kind of like. Me yeah, <laughs> but it's so different with the with the shield. The, yeah, you order here.
This is George. Oh uh, yeah, this is George. You can't see underneath the mask. And this is Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> I call you Hannah. Oh yeah. shoot, I didn't mention I'm Mike. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> people, people, people. This is so weird. This feels like a date. Like wow. when you go to a, to a, like a yeah. blind date, you go to a place, you haven't met these people. No, it's quite it's weird. Time. You don't know what to expect. You want to hug them, but you can't. Yeah. It's our first oh, this is so social awful. interaction in like three months. Yeah, we thought we might not be able to speak, so it's going well. Other, so other than food <laughs> delivery people, that's it. <laughs> So and I, I, I just like, have the people like pay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to give you a hug. I know, same, same. I'm sorry. I was imagining it. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. Oh, oh my god. It is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so. It's, okay, guys. This is this is so awkward. Oh, we need to move. We need to move. Too many people here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the right way to do this is. <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, guys, how has life been for you in the past? Not bad. It's been repetitive, but we can't complain. We've done what we can. We've had our place. So it's all been okay. It's all been okay. Nice. But now it's even better. Yeah. I love your face, man. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, I think we had a really, really nice catch up. You think? We did. I think. <laughs> we did. I believe. It was so nice. Yeah. Good guys. to see you guys again from distance. Yeah. yeah. We'll have you again one day. But... It's good yeah. to see you in high definition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real life. Uh, I'll give the you a... Park, the 3D experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, we'll give you a social distancing hug. Yeah. Yes. Bye bye. Ah. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I kind of prefer see like you. I like this. Okay. Yeah, it's way it's like oh, it's like the it's like the musketeers. The musketeers, yes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you guys soon. See you very soon, guys. Nice see to see you. See you. Yeah, Look likewise. We'll see you we'll do something soon. Yeah. yeah. That was nice. That was really nice. Uh, yeah. I'm sure a few of you guys don't know who that actually was. That's George and Lucy from the Juicy Blog. Um, back in 2019, we spent five months together traveling, doing daily videos, traveling through the Philippines, which was an amazing time. Uh, we've got a whole playlist, it's called Making It Juicy on the Road. Uh, we, we got all these vlogs together. If you're at home, stuck at home, you don't know what to watch, I definitely recommend it. We'll link the playlist right here. And the channel is also linked. And the channel is also linked, yeah, yeah also in the description. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good to see some familiar faces again. Being back home in Manila, walking through BGC, <laughs> getting recognized by you guys, saying hi through like, cars and everything. Uh, we took a few social distancing selfies. It feels really, really good to have these small human interactions. Um, since Mike and I spent the last two weeks being at home, <laughs> which was nice. We really enjoyed it, right? Yeah, it's been very relaxing. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately they do not have the pipe here, but this is very unfortunate because this is pretty much the biggest hardware store I know. And they don't have pipe here. They don't have cast iron pipe here. Uh, good morning, guys. It's the next day. Second attempt at getting the necessary hardware to do the installation at home. Let's hope we find what we need. Um, if not, our only uh, options are going to be to order it online and have it delivered, which will take up to two weeks, which is not what I want right now. That's one foot. Right? Okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's 30 centimeters. How much is one? 
Okay guys, Silver Rose General Merchandise Hardware Store. They have pretty much everything that I need, which is awesome, which is really awesome. So now I'm going to do the, now that I know exactly which parts that we can get here, I can go home and do the detail, the detailed design of our kitchen cabinet. Uh, maybe if I have enough time, I'll do a, a 3D rendering of it. So it's easier to order it and place it into the room. Hey, how are you? Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so it's going to be easier for us to put everything together. So yes, that is awesome. Hello, how's it going? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. How are you? How's sure go? <laughs> long. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time. Huh? Yeah, longest, longest vacation ever. Yeah. <laughs> Just a quick stop by the curator to grab a cup of coffee, bring one for Nelly as well. Um, it's actually quite early in the morning and uh, I'm sure Nelly hasn't had coffee yet, so she's going to appreciate it. I'm trying to look at my phone, but my battery's dead. Uh, so Nelly doesn't know where I am for the past, I don't know how long. <laughs> So guys, I just got home and my head is spinning getting all of this planned out. It's really, really not that easy as it looks online. A lot of thought has to go into it. But while we were planning, Nelly, say good morning. Good morning. While we were Sorry, planning, <laughs> we got a delivery from the Pinoy Bakery again. Yeah. Uh, what, what we, well, first of all, this yes. here. Check this out, guys. Okay, here's the background story. Here's the background story. Um, we have this extra oven and I posted on Instagram that we are giving it away for free. Um, and I got so many messages. Yeah. I think I got since yesterday, like 15 hours ago, 400 messages. Um, a lot of people need an oven right now. And um, sh uh, her sister is a single mom and lost her job. And um, I said, I'll give you the oven. So um, she just sent a little thank you. And this is, um, this is an illustration of me and Mike. If you guys remember, this, is, this picture was taken in uh, Baguio. When we were singing uh, together with some Filipinos and uh, with George and Lucy. And I really love this. And I have a few of these black frames. So I think I'm going to, to frame it. And just add it to our little art gallery. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Yeah. Cool. So and they also sent us over some food. Yes. We have here one. You want to open it up? Yeah. Some lasagna. Which is really good because I'm hungry. Yeah, we're super hungry. And this is from the Al Albertos. The Albertos the family Albertos. kitchen. And this is some sushi. Ooh, nice. But this is warm, right? Yeah. Nice. It's good, mm -hmm. we haven't eaten today, today yeah. yet, so we're hungry. <laughs> we got some uh, nori. Nori as well, perfect. Really nice. So let's dig in and then get that kitchen done. Yes. Okay guys, I know in some sense all of this must have been very confusing with pipes and so on, why they're on pipes, but we finally got everything. We ordered everything at the hardware store we visited before and they were able to deliver everything that we need including the wood that they prefab, they pre-cut it for us, which is really nice. And now I just mocked up one part of the cupboard. So you see, you see these pipes, they come together as the actual frame for the kitchen cabinets, which is really nice because it looks kind of cool and vintage, but it's also very flexible. So I can make kind of like connection points like this, which serve as supports for the actual shelves inside so if you look it's like this and what i really like about it is if we find out if we find out after a few weeks or months we want some additional shelves or something all we need to do is take out one of these little couplings one of these little couplings replace them with a t-joint and put in another connection Bada bing bada boom you got another shelf or at the same time you can just do a ton of different stuff and we literally have like a ton of wood which will be like shelvings over here we have this work surface on top um, which covers finally the washer and the dishwasher and then we're going to have some shelves on the wall which we're not going to do yet but in the future but for now the goal is to build all of this together and actually make it additional kitchen space this is giving us more cooking real estate than we previously had in our whole kitchen. This is really messy right now. 
but to get the idea, it's going to be really awesome. Alright, check it out guys, the first kind of section is built together, um, well it's just, it's mocked up for now, because nothing is mounted to the wood yet, so everything still can be moved around a little bit, because once I've built all the pieces together, then I can do the final adjustment to make sure that everything is straight and um, even. So I got a few more of those to put together for this side over here. And then we can start finishing off the shelves and putting in the screws. So this is really a fast, super fast project. Once you got everything, all the pieces, it's like really fast. All right, check it out, guys. This is the the annex kitchen so to say uh it's not finished not nearly finished because uh, we're still going to decide tomorrow if we're going to varnish the wood or if we are going to paint it or color it or put foil on we haven't decided yet we're still going to paint these black um and we still have to like this is just the equipment the design is still going to be done because i want it to look nice for videos this little shelving is going to go onto the wall we have a ton of ideas for that. Like we can put we can put a ton of shelves in here as well. There's more than enough space. And now finally I can have all my kitchen gear out ready to go at any time. So excited about this. And that the microwave fits in here, that's just pure coincidence. But it fits, so I'm happy. So guys, let me know what you think about our little annex kitchen idea and how we put it together. If you like what we did, if you have any recommendations, what we could do better, if you have seen any ideas that we could implement still now into that place. I really love how it's coming together. I'm so excited to start cooking in there. But for today, I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you want to get the inside scoop, kind of a preview of what's happening in our lives, head on over to Instagram, making it happen vlog and Nelly's life underline underline. Follow us there. Also, feel free to send us a private message. We reply to as many messages as we can. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and make it happen. Good night.